When Ghana began its fourth Republican dispensation, the area, popularly known as the Sal Enclave, comprising Sancho Kofi, Akpafu, Lolobi, and Likpe, used to be part of the Boem Krache district, which stretched from Kete Krache in the now Otu region to Sancho Kofi, which is about 10 minutes drive from Hohoi in the now Volta region. The advocacy for the creation of the Otu region, which began in 1964, to cover the then Boem Krache district, which covered the entire Otu region as it is now constituted. The Boem Krache district was later split into eight districts, with the Sal Enclave forming part of the Hohoi municipality due to its proximity to the Hohoi township. Following the creation of the Otu region, after the 2018 December referendum, however, the Sal Enclave was cut from the Hohoi municipality to form part of the new Otu region. But that did not come without drama. Part of Lolobi and Akpafu openly opted out of the advocacy for the Otu region and wanted to remain part of the Hohoi municipality and the Volta region for that matter. Indeed, Nana Koto Masachi III of Lolobi Kumase is still in court with the claim that the signature on the petition submitted to the presidency for the creation of the Oti region is not his, but one of an imposter, and in effect suggesting that he and his people did not ask to be made part of the new Oti region. The Sal Enclave has been left without a district assembly and without a representation in parliament for the past two years, following the creation of the Oti region to the disappointment of the people of the area. According to them, the failure of government to address issues surrounding the area's political leadership and administration two clear years after the creation of the OT region is disappointing as it slows development. As a matter of fact, we are agitating for a, a region with a purpose. We've had the region, but the purpose has not been achieved. Why do I say that? I say that because we were agitating for a district. And it appears that our agitation is being denied now. And that denial comes in the wake of a whole lot of things. First, we are being denied our national cake. The district's uh, share of the common fund, because we haven't had the district, that has not come. So we don't know where we, we belong now. Secondly, we don't even have a parliamentarian, no MP. And uh, we are being denied uh, our, our franchise. Any other assembly, they have a common fund. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have. Uh, so it makes it uh, very, very difficult and challenging to come to terms with, for instance, we have uh, an issue with water crisis. During the dry, the drought, I mean, earlier in the year, we were rationing water. So I missed the COVID. Uh, whilst they were even giving PPs and stuff, we didn't benefit from anything. Because which assembly are you going to take these things from? Uh, that will not be standing. We have issues with, for instance, the school uh, building you just actually saw that is also in bad shape. Uh, after the election, uh, earlier in the year, the OT regional minister was here. He made mention of Honorable Ted Yofori, uh, the whole municipal uh, chief executive, being the caretaker in our area. But unfortunately, we haven't seen much of him here. During the just ended general elections, inhabitants of the Sal Enclave could only vote for a president, but not for a parliamentarian, because, as it sounds, the area does not fall under any constituency. Questions are arrived now as to whether there will be the creation of a new SAL or Guan constituency to allow the people to have a representation in Ghana's legislature anytime soon, or that the area would have to remain without parliamentary representation for the next four years.